I'm going to show you how to use pastel color pencil to draw a figure. First, let's talk about the paper that we might be using. I have a pastel paper. It has uh, different colors here. Strama tone tanned. This is perfect for color pencil. This book is all light brown color. But the pastel paper has a little bit more too, has more texture. Let's take a look how we are going to draw this figure. So we can go with pastel paper. Yeah, we can actually use this piece. I'm going to move that a little bit more to the left. Some people will rather probably just, just directly coming in to do some real thing. Uh, they call it the real thing, but however, this is actually very real because you really need to spend enough time to thinking about if something that you want to go forward is a searching process and searching the excitement, searching something that connect with you in the personal level, finding the connection between uh, the eyebrows and the eye. I think the eyes is right in this location and there is a dividing line all the way coming down as we develop the small area and we forget the big contrast between the light side and the shadow side. Give it a little easier to moving in to the small details. So it just divides this a little bit with a very light um, indication. So I'm not going to get into too much of the details yet because uh, we're going to move the whole artwork development with other space. So now I come back over here to face. Okay. Blend it over. I'm going to bring it into the shadow side. Now I'm going to looking at the top over here on this side. A little bit darker, but I'm going to come in to define what's just the eyebrows. The eyebrows is right over here. I'm uh, looking for the angle for that line. Okay. And this eyebrow is over here. I'm looking at the eye on this side. But I'm looking for this whole area in this side. Catch the shadow on the face. And looking for the whole shadow side and the forehead over here. And looking for the nose coming down over here. Okay, I'm gonna shade this whole area, the shadow side. Between this shape and that shape, they very much blur together. I like that. Uh, in fact, they are actually connected. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to make sure they are connected. And I'm going to use the eraser to going to clean up a little bit on the light side. Doing one side and looking for the other side of the face. And a little bit of suggestions like this and the eye. I think the mouth can be a little bit bigger, so it looks like a little tiny. So if you get that feeling, you want to pay attention to it, uh, not avoid it. You still need to change it. So the suggestions of the little catch the shadow, like this. Because the hair over here it would naturally have catch the shadow next to it. Okay, over here, have a... I'm going to see have the... The edge you make it a little interesting. I'm gonna have that like the dark light, dark light coming through. So let's take a look. And what I want to do now, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna make a change to the shoulder line in this area. And I'm gonna take it out first. Now what I want to do, I'm gonna use the darker uh, color pencil. And this, okay, 
looking for it. This connect still good. Coming down over here. And now a little slower. Now a little curve. Again, connect it and make it firm. Okay, that's good. We can do the same thing over here. I think this size could be a little bit higher, so I'm gonna actually start over here, take a look. Like this. And then coming down from the top over here. Like that. And could be a little bit definition for the side. That's probably good. Like that. Okay, there's an earring, so I'm gonna give a little suggestions. That is good enough. And the hair coming this way. Give a little suggestions for that. So this is almost getting to uh, the end of the drawing. And move this line a little bit out. And let's see. And now what I want to do is to use light color. I'm going to use this light charcoal. What I want to do over here in the eye, there's a little highlight over here. Give a little bit over there. And if this is the wrong place, don't be hesitate to change it. Okay. Okay, a little line over here too. And on this side, take a look. Like that. And then on the nose, there's the highlight right here. Coming down. And on the lid, there's a little light over here. There's some light over here on the inside white shirt. So I'm going to give it a little bit like this. And then you see there's a little light over here. So I'm going to give a little light over here. And the finger over here, a little light coming down over here. So it's not rely on the, uh, the light color too much. The light color is something extra that you can use. And over here there is. And I'm going to have a little bit on the arm over here. A little bit soft. And then a little bit over here to create a little texture of the uh, wrapper like this like that give a little suggestions for the texture get a couple suggestions don't make too much this okay and the edge over here also give it a little bit like that there's something extra and I'm gonna clean up uh, the background and maybe give it a little bit also on the here like that This can be a little bit lighter. A little bit light over here. A little light over here. And there is missing a little shape over here. It was very interesting. We really picked up up. And with a little lighter brown colors, I'm going to shade it a little. And maybe also give a little bit more uh, emphasis over here too. Use the brander to help to confirm it.
okay and I want to have this line a little bit softer I don't want it to be had so uh, persistent and to make that too important okay and what about the background so we need to do something to the background and let's see I'm not sure we need to do too much to the background right now at this point I want to soften the edge on this side okay so I have a little bit uh, shading and what I want to do for this blending I'm going to use the paper tower because I want to have a little bit bigger textures Okay, that the color blends in and I still want some a visible texture over here too something like that so this color can blend in and in the background that lessen the contrast between the shadow side and the outside Through this drawing process, I emphasize on the process of drawing. It's very, very important. Never rush into the details until you have the whole drawing figured out and always looking how the shapes connect together. No matter what medium we use, the process is very similar. If you're wondering how you're going to get my feedback for your learning progress, use the link to join our learning community. We're waiting for you. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and turn on notification. I will looking forward to see you in my next lesson.